गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन टिक आउट चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स इंडियन डेमोक्रेसी बेटा अगेन वट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी डेमोक्रेसी मीन्स अ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ द पीपल बाय द पीपल एंड फॉर द पीपल डेमोक्रेसी अगेन दिस वर्ड डेमोक्रेसी इज ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम द ग्रीक टर्म दैट इज डेमोक्रेटिया विच मीन्स द रूल ऑफ द पीपल अगेन मीनिंग ऑफ डेमोक्रेटिया इज रूल ऑफ द पीपल अगेन इंडिया इज द लार्जेस्ट डेमोक्रेसी इन द वर्ल्ड ओके इट वॉज डिक्लेयर्ड सेकुलर एंड डेमोक्रेटिक वेन इट्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन केम इन टू फोर्स ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स जनवरी means uh, earlier we have not added the word secular and democratic when it was implemented when this was implemented this uh, constitution was implemented then we added the word dem- secular and democratic secular means there is a no religion of our country okay all religion are equal for the government for the law democratic means a uh, government is chosen by and working for the people again uh, india is a very vast country as we all know it has 28 states and how many union territories nine union territory territories in india beta there is a federal form of government which means that there is a government at the center and the state this uh, means that parts of the government are divided into two groups that is at the center and at the state level now what is the center beta that is the government which is there for full india that is your center government and again the, uh, we all are having a separate government also like uh, we are nowadays having a congress uh, whose chief minister is a uh, Uh, captain amrinder singh so that is our state government okay and the again powers are distributed between both the levels means center and state uh, then both the government as well as this center as well as state are democratically elected and which kind of pattern we are following we are following the two houses of uh, uh, parliament lok sabha and rajya sabha then comes our central government beta in india the government of uh, the government of the country is official known as union government official name of our government is union government it is also known as a central government okay because uh, again a, it is a governing authority of 29 states means at a central level we are having a uh, government which is uh, governing we are uh, this government is having a governing authority of 29 states 28 states and 9 union territories remember 28 states and 9 union territory which is collectively called republic of india okay central government where it is located it is located in new delhi which is our capital of india basic structure of central government is again beta uh, we are having a three main branches legislative executive and judiciary legislature makes law that we all know okay and uh, once the law is made here in the legislature it is the duty of the executive next branch that is our executive to ensure that these uh, are followed by all then comes our judiciary judiciary me uh, again what it does uh, it uh, explains interprets means it explains the law which are there in the constitution this means that some uh, if someone suppose breaks the laws or feels that the law is not a uh, fair to that person he can go to the judiciary to seek the justice N- now we are going to study in detail about uh, all the branches of our central government again first one is our legislature it is called parliament or sansad what we call legislature Le- legislature parliament or sansad again uh, what it does uh, it is the main law making body of central government and it consists of uh, two houses first is lok sabha and rajya sabha now lok sabha is called a lower house of the parliament and how many member can be there it can have a maximum 552 members okay maximum 552 member okay 
but now presently it consists of 545 member of which 543 members are elected directly by the citizens of india and two members uh, two members of the anglo indian community are nominated by the president of india now here uh, again out of this 552 uh, like uh, presently we are having 545 member out of 545 543 members we people have selected rest two members are selected by the president of india nominated by the president of india which belongs to anglo indian community okay means uh, kind of nri okay uh, any citizen not exactly that okay i'm any citizen above the age of 25 year can stand for the election of the lok sabha okay the, the citizen who is uh, again uh, age uh, more than age of 25 or 20, uh, more than age of 25 or 25 he can again stand for the election of lok sabha okay the members of lok sabha is again uh, they, what they do they elect the speaker who guides the proceeding of the house then comes our rajya sabha it again it is called as a upper house of the parliament and it can have a 250 members maximum 250 member out of these beta 238 are representative members of the state remember 238 are the representative members of the state we do not elect directly and 12 members are nominated by the president the members are elected by the members of legislature assembly okay assemblies again the vice president of the uh, of this house rajya sabha is vice uh, the chairperson of this rajya sabha is our vice president okay uh, next beta will do in next video have a good day children